is the Large Hadron Collider. It's 27 kilometres in circumference. It's the biggest scientific experiment ever attempted. Over 10,000 physicists and engineers from 85 countries around the world have come together over several decades to build this machine. A secret project deep within CERN quietly pushed the boundaries of physics until a 14-year-old genius, Max Laughlin, exposed a truth that left even hardened scientists visibly shaken. His groundbreaking claims about CERN's quantum AI described particle collisions that didn't just create new data, but ripped a temporary hole in our universe. For 11 minutes, he reported, a portal stood open, revealing a reality far stranger than we could ever imagine. The most shocking fact is, this wasn't a mistake, but a chilling, calculated step into the unknown. 11 minutes that changed everything. In the hushed halls where the universe's deepest secrets are probed, a 14-year-old boy named Max Laughlin has delivered a statement so profound, so utterly unsettling, that it has left seasoned scientists grappling with disbelief and a gnawing sense of dread. Max Laughlin, whose intellect reportedly surpasses even the most celebrated minds in history, didn't just offer a theory. He presented a 20-page document brimming with complex quantum equations and detailed diagrams claiming that the colossal Large Hadron Collider at CERN, driven by a revolutionary quantum AI, had done something truly extraordinary. It wasn't merely about pushing particle collisions beyond limits, it was about breaching the very fabric of our reality, opening a stable gateway to another dimension for precisely 11 minutes. You see, most kids his age are engrossed in video games or school projects. But Max Laughlin isn't most kids. By age seven, he was already correcting university physics professors. At 10, he reportedly constructed a functioning nuclear fusion reactor in his family's garage using parts he ordered online. His estimated IQ, soaring above 200, positions him in a league of his own, making the genius of figures like Stephen Hawking seem, to put it mildly, almost average. For years, the scientific community watched, mesmerized, wondering what monumental discovery or invention he would unleash next. Nobody, and we mean nobody, anticipated this. In a move that reverberated across the internet, Max released his paper, not for a school assignment, but as a detailed exposition titled Interdimensional Transference via Quantum Entangled AI. This isn't just a collection of wild ideas, it's a meticulously crafted report that top physicists are still struggling to fully decipher. The explosive claim, subtly woven into the intricate data, stated without a flicker of doubt that CERN's Large Hadron Collider, an engineering marvel buried nearly 100 feet below ground along the Franco-Swiss border, had succeeded in a mission far beyond particle physics. He alleged that for a crucial 11 minutes it had opened a stable gateway, a portal to a dimension previously thought to exist only in the realms of science fiction. Here's the kicker, the detail that truly makes scientists go pale. Max Laughlin claimed it wasn't an accident. According to his astonishing account, for the past five years, CERN had been secretly developing a quantum AI. This isn't the artificial intelligence you hear about on the news, assisting with everyday tasks. This is a machine capable of thinking in ways our human brain simply cannot, processing trillions of possibilities in a single second. It was this AI, he stated, that meticulously pinpointed the exact frequency needed to weaken the subtle tapestry of our reality. It commanded the massive 170-foot-long ring of superconducting magnets, chilled to a temperature colder than deep space, a chilling minus 456 degrees Fahrenheit, and launched beams of protons at a mind-bending 99.9% .9 the speed of light. The result, he insisted, wasn't merely a new particle, it was a doorway. Many people are crazy about theories of alternate dimensions, but this was different. It emanated from a source many were inclined to believe, a mind that had consistently redefined the boundaries of human understanding. The thing nobody tells you is that strange occurrences have been reported in the vicinity CERN for years. Unexplained seismic tremors, bizarre cloud formations, and electrical disturbances that defy any logical explanation. Max's paper suggested these weren't mere side effects. They were the warm-up act, subtle shifts in reality preceding the main event. He even included satellite data, he claimed, showing a massive, inexplicable energy surge precisely at the moment he asserted the portal opened. 
The official explanation from CERN was a vague, minor power surge during a routine calibration test, but Max declared it the biggest cover-up in human history. This young boy's claim was so audacious, so utterly unbelievable, that it was destined to capture the attention of one of the world's most influential voices. Rogan's Reaction and the Spreading Fire In a world where traditional news outlets meticulously filter and control narratives, the most explosive ideas often catch fire in unexpected corners. There is no bigger megaphone for unconventional thoughts than the podcast of Joe Rogan, a man who reaches more people in a single week than most major news networks do in an entire year. Rogan has meticulously built an undisputed empire on hosting conversations that dare to venture where official narratives fear to tread. You see, he delves into everything from ancient civilizations and the intricacies of martial arts to the very nature of consciousness itself. So when Max Laughlin's bombshell claim about CERN and its interdimensional portal landed on his desk, it was only a matter of time before it hit the airwaves. But not all things are what they seem, and Rogan's reaction to Max's claims was far from what anyone expected. During a widely viewed episode featuring a prominent mainstream physicist, Rogan brought up Max's paper. The physicist immediately chuckled a condescending smirk playing on his face, attempting to dismiss it as the brilliant fantasy of a child with an overactive imagination. He tried to explain it away with a dense wall of complicated jargon, clearly designed to confuse and ultimately discredit the claims. However, here's the kicker. Rogan wasn't laughing. He didn't engage in a heated debate. Instead, he simply sat there, leaning into his microphone, staring intently at his guest for what felt like an eternity. He then pulled up the 20-page paper on the screen, pointing not to the wild claims, but to the dense pages filled with quantum equations. Rogan, a personality famous for his explosive curiosity and often loud demeanor, was uncharacteristically quiet, almost troubled. He finally spoke, and his words instantly became a direct quote that would echo across the internet. Look, I'm just a dumb comedian, but I've talked to enough smart people to know when something looks different. This doesn't look like a joke. That single, quiet moment of validation from Rogan was like pouring gasoline on a smoldering fire. The clip was instantly edited, remixed, and shared, going viral across every digital platform. Suddenly, millions of people who had barely heard of CERN were now asking a terrifying question. What if the kid is right? Rogan didn't officially endorse the theory, but by giving it such a massive platform, he made it acceptable to ask the question. In today's interconnected world, that's more than enough to trigger an avalanche of speculation and inquiry. The thing nobody tells you is that this isn't the first time strange theories about CERN have surfaced. For years, people have pointed to the giant 10-foot-tall statue of Shiva, the Hindu god of destruction and creation that stands prominently outside CERN's headquarters in Geneva, Switzerland. The official explanation is that it was a diplomatic gift from India. But many ask, why accept a statue of the Cosmic Dancer, the deity who destroys universes only to recreate them? It seems, to put it mildly, a bizarre choice for a bastion of scientific inquiry. Conspiracy circles have long claimed that CERN isn't merely attempting to understand the universe, but rather to manipulate or even break it, playing a role akin to a modern-day deity. They point to other unsettling occurrences, such as bizarre mock rituals reportedly filmed on CERN grounds. Max Laughlin's claims, magnified by Rogan's colossal audience, poured immense fuel on these long smoldering embers of suspicion. It connected the dots for millions of individuals, suggesting that perhaps the wildest, most far-fetched theories might contain a terrifying grain of truth after all. With the world now captivated, the focus shifted from the brilliant young boy to the colossal machine itself and its unsettling ancient connections. The next revelation promised to stretch the imagination beyond anything thought possible. The Ancients' Forbidden Knowledge To put it mildly, the story of Max Laughlin and CERN's alleged portal was already spiraling beyond control, but it was about to take an even stranger turn. Once the idea of a dimensional doorway was unleashed, online investigators and independent researchers began digging, unearthing connections between CERN's mysterious activities and some of humanity's most ancient enigmas. 
The narrative quickly expanded beyond a simple scientific experiment gone rogue, blossoming into a complex conspiracy that seemed to span thousands of years. What many overlooked is just how profound these historical connections truly are. The journey began with CERN's very location. Why construct such an unprecedented facility precisely there, on the border of France and Switzerland? Researchers uncovered that this site was once home to a Roman town named Apoliacum, a place ancient cultures believed to be a literal gateway to the underworld. A curious coincidence, perhaps. But then scrutiny turned to the very logo of CERN. At first glance, it appears to be a stylized representation of intersecting particle accelerators. However, if you look closer, many people perceive something else entirely. The number 666, cleverly integrated and hidden in plain sight. Then came the startling connections to ancient alien theories and the colossal pyramids of Egypt. For decades, theorists have argued that the Great Pyramids of Giza were not merely elaborate tombs. They were, in fact, massive energy machines, constructed for a purpose we have fundamentally misunderstood. They highlight the mind-boggling evidence, the incredibly precise mathematical alignments to true north, the internal shafts pointing directly to specific star systems like Orion's belt, and their placement at the exact geographical center of Earth's landmass. The thing nobody tells you is that the Great Pyramid is primarily built of dolomite limestone, a material known to conduct electricity, and its internal shafts are lined with granite a slightly radioactive material known to ionize the air. To put it mildly, that's an extraordinarily strange recipe for a simple burial chamber. The theory suggests that an advanced ancient civilization, potentially aided by extraterrestrial visitors, utilized these monumental structures for something incredible. They weren't just stacking stones, they were building a resonant cavity, a sophisticated machine designed to harness Earth's natural energy fields. For what purpose? Perhaps to open their own portals. They draw parallels between the immense focus power required for such an ancient feat and the staggering energy generated by CERN's 170-foot-long Large Hadron Collider. Were our distant ancestors attempting to achieve the very same thing as modern CERN, but using stone and sound instead of superconducting magnets and particle beams? This is where the story truly descends down the rabbit hole. People began pointing out eerie similarities between ancient texts and hieroglyphs from cultures across the globe. Suddenly, depictions of gods descending from the sky in fiery chariots no longer seemed like mere myths. They resembled eyewitness accounts of advanced technology. Was the underworld of ancient legends simply another term for a parallel universe? Were the gods who brought humanity knowledge of agriculture and astronomy merely interdimensional travelers? The Sumerian texts speak of the Anunnaki, who arrived from the heavens, and ancient Indian texts describe flying machines called Vimanas in stunning detail. All these diverse stories from cultures supposedly never in contact narrate a remarkably similar tale. Max Laughlin's claims about a quantum AI-controlled portal suddenly didn't sound so entirely new. It sounded like a terrifying echo of a long-forgotten past, a dangerous technology humanity might have stumbled upon once before. It begs a chilling question. If our ancestors possess such power, where are they now? Perhaps their story serves as a profound warning that some doors are best left unopened. But if all of this is true, what does it mean for the average person living their day-to-day -day life? Completely unaware. We're about to explore how these grand claims could be subtly reshaping our very existence. Glitches in the fabric. Let's bring this down to earth for a moment. For the average person watching this, it's easy to dismiss all these claims as crazy talk. Portals, quantum AI, ancient aliens. It sounds like the plot of a Hollywood blockbuster. You see, you wake up, you go to work, you handle your responsibilities, and you deal with the real world. The sun rises, the sun sets, and the world looks precisely as it did yesterday. But what if it isn't? What if the very rules governing reality were quietly rewritten while we were all busy looking at our phones? The thing is, if a doorway to another dimension was opened, even for just 11 minutes, we cannot be sure what might have come through, and more importantly, we can't be sure what subtle changes it might have introduced to our own world. Are we missing a key detail? These charged particles can then interact with dust grains, causing them to also become charged. 
This creates a complex self-organizing system that, in laboratory settings, can exhibit behaviors reminiscent of biological processes, forming intricate structures, moving in coordinated ways, and even storing information. To put it mildly, this could mean 3i Atlas is a naturally occurring, highly organized bundle of matter, energy, and information that interacts with its environment in ways we are only beginning to comprehend. The most shocking fact is that these plasma dust interactions could explain some of its seemingly purposeful anomalies. This brings us to the more speculative, yet increasingly discussed possibility. What if 3i Atlas isn't just an object, but a manifestation of something akin to a cosmic consciousness, or at least a highly evolved non-biological intelligence? This isn't about little green aliens in a spaceship. Instead, it's about considering if there are forms of organization and interaction in the universe that transcend.